six years old, I wanted to be famous. That's what was gonna make people stop picking on me. Music was the obvious choice because that's the quickest way to meet Madonna. Well, I mean, there's nothing else that I can do that's gonna make me happy. I get quite, um, I get quite mentally ill if I don't do this. I've tried working full-time jobs before. It doesn't work. I'm really not cut out for it, so it's just that's it. This is all I've got. Don't help the way I am. A strong heart with a mission and an ocean sailing man. In my music career, you know, I've spent so many years dressing dressing myself up as something that I'm not in order to gain some sort of respect. When we finished the, um, the clip and it was all done, um, I spent about three months umming and ahhing about whether or not I was going to put it to air because I was so terrified of what that was going to do to the way that people saw me and whether that was going to cut out my audiences and all that sort of shit. Satisfaction waits, I'm following my fate. Sailing far from you. In order to get a, a, a bigger audience, I'm censoring myself more now. I used to censor myself because I was too scared of what people were going to think about me. So in terms of singing about a girl, if this is songs about a woman, um, I've, I'll, I'm less inclined to do it now because, you know, I'd, I'd rather you know, some one be able to give it whatever meaning they want to give it. So I won't make it specific if it's about a woman or a man. But having said that, in the last year or so, I've written a couple of songs where it's quite clear that it's about a woman because that's what the whole record wound up being about. And, and the, there are certain times that I just can't avoid saying that within the lyrics. And it's like, well, if that's not the song that relates to a big crew, then that's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, no, I used, to, uh, I used to be very, very protective of who I was singing about because of the judgment that flies. Mm. Heavy is my head. Your eyes a thousand miles away, and me not in your bed. Oh, my love, satisfaction waits, I'm following. Every time I see that shot, it's just like, oh God, what am I doing? I had a, a guy um, message me on MySpace a couple of days ago saying, oh, I didn't realise you were that way inclined. Well, hmm. It's really interesting that it's so necessary to mention that. Because if, like, I know, I know a few women that, that are in queer relationships that aren't making that available to everyone to the point where they'll make film clips or do press shots with, with guys in it so you automatically assume that they're straight whereas and and so they I don't know but then there's always the room for them to be gay whereas if you announce that you are in a queer relationship then there's no room for you maybe you're not playing a role you are definitely gay but you know that that song was so clearly about a woman you know I was in love with a woman and I had to leave a woman behind all the time and um, I mean, you know, regardless of who I wind up being with, because I'm not, I've never thought that sexuality was anything but a fluid thing, that's what I've stated, and so now that's what I am, um, which is a sacrifice that you kind of have to make if you want to make sure that you can be honest. Women are held in a really different light than men are when it comes to, to this sort of stuff. Automatically, we, we, we see women differently to men. You're not, you are not compared to male artists, you're compared to other female artists. In my opinion, my stuff is really similar to Crowded House. 
um, songwriters like that, but I would never get compared to a male singer-songwriter, well, very rarely, because the media is so accustomed to going, you're a chick, so this is what you do. Um, you're a female before you're an artist. But that's the same with every industry, that's just the way we are, and it's accepted because that's the way it's always been. And as soon as some woman starts talking about this is the way that it is, then she's whinging. So, you know, I've got a really great rant about all that stuff, of course, but there are, I've, a lot of my female counterparts think I'm full of shit. It's a really interesting industry. Like, I, I've spent a lot of years trying to, to, to put, to manufacture a community uh, within, the, within my industry. In reality, as far as I can tell, the solo singer-songwriter part of the Melbourne music scene, I mean, it's just that. Everybody is solo. Everybody's doing it to get their own name out there. So it's, it's really odd to all be experiencing a lot of the same things and yet to feel like no one's doing it with us. Yeah, I guess I am really very lonely. But, I mean, that's, that's, that's the nature of what I do and how I do it. It's, it's been a curse in some senses because I'll just decide that that's the only way to do things and then I'll, I'll need a lot of help and I won't ask for it. Um, when I was younger I was just really stupid and very self-indulgent and, um, and cocky as hell and thought that I was the, the centre of the universe. So of course I was going to destroy myself if things felt like they were falling away. You know, I was, I was, I was doing drugs a, a bit, um, sleeping around and, and not looking after my, myself. The challenge in my life is, is to always get better at being a human being. You know, you just have to find some way to keep a real positive affirmation that it's going to work because otherwise, what else is there, you know? But you